unless there's any objection from the board, we're going to start our weekly select board meeting. And I invite the public to stay because it's going to be a bar. Okay. Two people can have a two-minute break to do whatever they need to do. You can object, but we're doing it anyway. So, two minutes. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so within the 30 days, they, if they file their appeal, they can leave their business there? Yes. However, they do need to follow the Positive. rules of not being a nuisance Correct. business. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Well, and, uh, yeah, okay. Perfect. Um, anything else to come? Welcome. You're off the hook for the other one. There was no, uh, no, uh, no uh, disagreement. All right. All right. All right. The fire chief is. You know what? I, I, I meant to. In my haste, I didn't do it. But um, uh, we've got some sad news for those of you that weren't able to make it to the um, public hearing on the budget last Saturday. But, um, and if you haven't seen on Facebook or anywhere else, the uh, deputy chief of the fire department, assistant chief. Assistant Fire Chief uh, Kevin Hurd uh, passed um, yeah. after 36 years of, um, of uh, very dedicated service to this town, a town that he didn't reside in. Um, he lived over the border of Maine, but he um, gave us 36 years of uh, <coughs> stellar service. Uh, and I thought it was a good right to his family for allowing us to have him. You would keep his family in your thoughts and sure not the beginning of that uh, Next order of business is a report from the fire chief. He's not here tonight, but that's okay because he doesn't have anything really. The fire ponds is on here as a placeholder. Highway department, George. So the first thing we have is posting roads. We're gonna that's on hold until after the budget is finalized. Uh, we have got an issue with the culvert behind the American Union Home. Yes, we need to deal with it.
I went to a Slackman meeting about a year or two ago, and I think it was about a year. But since then, I think the line, it, it collapsed, it has collapsed. But since then, it's also flooded. So what little water, there is still some water going down through. But when was the last week when I went down to show him? It was still a warm day, and it was like a river going down through the back. And he's aware of it because he opened the ditch way down near the road. Some this fall, wasn't it? Right, he opened up down here. To take care of the extra water that was going down. Right, it was across the street. All right, so, so George, the, um, the, the culvert is our problem. What, what it, about? It, if it's attached to the storm drain system, right. it's definitely a, a problem. Right. But up at the top of the hill is... That's a brook coming in there. Where, where is all this water coming from?
their own bent to sort of as it was pending and breeze in or waste oil. Right. That depends how far we want to go. As looking into what we can do with it or if there is, you know, we're talking, working with NHRA or whatever.
Jolin for, to fill a part-time position at the transfer station. Can we make a contingency if it passes? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And they all have That's not wrong. Okay. Second. Okay, so, and so this is contingent on your passing the yeah, correct. So. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor are all from the appointment of the children as a part-time and transportation attendant say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Well, move forward with the background check. Thank you. Anything else for us tonight? Okay. It's okay if you don't. Trust me. All right. Well, then, thank you for the police. Oh, there you go. I just want to I met with the folks with FEMA last week, and as a result of the, the March storm, we're going to get $10,100 and some change. That's for the actual cost for the employees, the equipment, and the product that was used, and also repair for the damaged vehicle. Uh, we're still entitled to uh, approximately another $1,200 for administrative costs for my time for paperwork, Caroline's time to prepare the paperwork, and George's time to prepare the paperwork. Right now, we're guaranteed 10,100 and some change. Awesome. So, good job. Thank you very much. And thank you again for um, for tonight. For, um, thank you for managing stuff for Still today, I think. Do uh, <laughs> you have anything else? For That's all I have for you. Anything for me? I don't have anything on the agenda for you. Anyone have anything for this chief? Thank you. Okay. Okay. We, do have, we do have a welfare case. We're going to uh, say that we're not in our regular. Setting. We're going to put it at the end of the meeting, so then we throw you all up and come back in. It has to be done in all public so The vote will be taken in public in the department minutes that reflect what action we take. So, next we go on, move on to town administration. So, the next order of business is the town meeting in the world. We're going to meet on um, next Monday, which is the um, we'll holiday. We're we'll going to come in. The only thing on the agenda is going to be dealing with the we're done with the board. Of course, we're going to the uh, first call from the um, So you all know, I have um, um, what I'd like to propose after our meeting. I was pissed I would say it was often done. And I was able to communicate that I had no speakers. Mark had come back to me. I know they're going through uh, you know, an emotional tough time. So it won't be a lot. On Monday, if they're meeting, I don't know if they're going to have to call it. Are they meeting on Monday? Well, and the best of intentions, I guess maybe even when TV is playing on Monday. Or we can try to work something out. But I think it's important that they hear from us. It's not a major holiday. I can find out for sure because it's not a major holiday. But I'll find out for you. Okay. How's anyone object? I'm just going to buy it. Someone suggests that. I'm not going to meet the gentleman. I've got them. I don't need them. But that's not to say that you guys actually work out all the time running and how we're running goes in the product. Anyways, I work a cup of coffee. So, but I'll let you know. But the only thing on the agenda for the 24th will be finalizing the warrant. So hopefully we're, we're going to start at 5 with a public hearing on, on the next item, the recreation fund article, which I, I know you have information. So, if we have the public, we're starting the public hearing. Do you have any information? You know, the, the public hearing is the 21st. You can choose to cancel it or you can choose to so, move forward with so it. So, my, my, the, the plan that has been noticed is 5 o'clock for the public hearing on that. And then immediately following that, we're going to start our, 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 our meeting. And the only thing on the agenda will be to finalize the one that will take the entire uh, time. I don't want any more distractions. So the next order of business, do you have any questions on the 21st? The next item is recreation fund article. Our town administrator has some information for us. It's preliminary information. It's a complicated situation. The draft of the board currently has two ways to move forward, both of which could meet the intent of the recreation committee. The idea is that they could um, after meeting the expenses of the year, if they brought in more money than that for um, tuition, the, the extra money could be put into a fund. Um, if they were to raise money above and beyond what it cost to raise the money, then that could go into the fund. So 
they could have an expendable trust, which is what the historical committee set up and approved in March, or they could have a revolving fund. Um, an expendable trust is going to require a warrant article every year with a specific dollar amount. Well, it, it's, it's this time of year right. that we'll have to calculate how much money goes okay. in it at, at exactly the time we're writing the warrant. So, right, so that could, well, so to be clear, the warrant's been drafted and we have a public hearing on the warrant. So the warrant can change um, in language and in significant ways, but dollar amounts and overall intent can't change. So not knowing which way to move forward, um, I don't remember whether it was option A, which is the expendable trust, or option B, the revolving fund, which one um, has a dollar in it, but neither of them has a significant dollar amount affixed to it, um, which means that there's not really any, any benefit to proceeding with it this year because you're not putting any money into the fund. So whatever goal you would want to achieve by doing it this year could be achieved next year while you are also putting money into the fund. The revolving fund seems to make better sense, I think, to meet the, um, what I think, what I think I understand the committee and the board's long-term goal is, but there are short-term implications, kind of either way you go, which is to say a re the, the intent of a revolving fund is that it receives all the fees, and this happens, by the way, all within um, the general fund. The operation of it is not a separate checking account, but it all happens within the general fund. Um, but a revolving, the idea of a revolving fund is that all of the fees go into it and all the expenses come out of it and it's self-sufficient. Um, it's, um, it's the mechanism that the police refer to sometimes for their um, details and buying crews or anything like that. So what's interesting about that is that it's then out of the operating budget and they do not have to provide a budget. So I'm sort of reluctant to suggest that right now because we don't have the staff and the oversight to, to decide that that's necessarily a good idea. The expendable trust you can do in the short term, it puts money away, and then in 10 years, when there's enough money that it could be self-sufficient within its own fund, you could close the expendable trust and put it all into the revolving fund, or next year you could start the revolving fund and seed it with enough money that it could have all of its operations. Just understanding that there are implications about agency that we need to be careful about. Okay, so you just told me to me, but that's okay. It's um, a lot. So the intent for this was to not put anything that exceeded what was raised and appropriated, uh, raised by the committee, less the expenses that they paid back the town, because it's supposed to be self-sufficient. That money would go in versus to offset taxes because of their efforts. What kind of fund is that going to be? <laughs> That could be either. The short, simple answer is that that's an expendable trust. You pick a dollar amount, you put it in a fund, and you don't think about it anymore. And you can use it with select boards as agents. You can use that to pay for things the following year or subsequent years. But if you put that money, if you put a select amount of money in that fund, is that their money to keep then? Not as an expendable trust. It's for that purpose, so you cannot use it for other purposes. So it's not their money because the select board has agency, but it is for a purpose, as set forth in the language of the article. Okay. So when you, if you were proposing to go that direction and there was a certain dollar amount, it's still the philosophy of the account would be that only what is beyond what the town pays out of the operating budget to the rec has to be fulfilled and reimbursed and only after that money can go in there and stay in there. Plus donations. Next, plus donations. Right. Plus donations? Donations has always been part of what was reimbursed to the town. Well, so I, I say that separately because we have to be careful with donations because when people give money to a public agency for a purpose, you are obligated by law to honor the purpose. So if people are giving it for scholarships, mm -hmm. you cannot buy playground equipment. Mm -hmm. So the expendable truck, either fund would be a way to. Um, keep track of that money 
not in and of itself by nature of the fund. It's a way of separating it from the general fund. But even on top of that, you're still going to have to keep track and remember that you received five hundred dollars and spent four for the scholarship. So you still right. have a hundred dollars for scholarships. Okay. okay. They, they were both on there, but they were both on there without money. And at this point, we cannot add money because it was not part of the public hearing process. One had a dollar, so you can do that if you want to do that. I think that was the revolving fund. No, or she's I think Either way, there's not really a benefit, though, to setting it up this year because you can't fund it. So you can accomplish the same goal by doing it next year and putting money into it. You can set it up and put money into it at the same time. And that way we can be a little bit more deliberate and careful. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that we're meeting tomorrow night, and we're really not only on for tonight, but we're meeting tomorrow night, and I think it's just going to have to be a topic of discussion on how to go forward. But, um, you know, I think, I think my question is a little bit too long. We're not sending the warrant until next month. So we don't have to decide whether or not we're going to move forward. It sounds like I think the recommendation. Well, well, they can have a conversation with you tomorrow night. I have yep. to say they have preference, but the guidance from Caroline is that perhaps we're going to be here. Yeah. And I'm okay with that from the big brother for a week. They're not big as the public hearing. Permits 2019-003 for Jessica Welch on Fulton Avenue, replacing copper LP gas pipe in the Black Iron. A fee of $30, approved by Tom Clark. Okay, so it's 
You know, it's great that we're doing it, right. but I'd like to go and prepare. Right. I mean, that way I had my plastic separated, and you know, that's all. I didn't, I didn't want to sit there and pick through my, through my recyclers. Make sense? I understand. One hundred percent makes sense. So we, we, um, one, we apologize for that. Uh, we have, um, it was supposed to have gone out on the website. We, um, and I'm not trying to pass the buck. I'm really not. But our, our website's not maintained by a town employee. It's all done by a volunteer. Clearly, it didn't get out. It didn't get put on the website. So we will um, send it out to her again and ask her to put up. Well, that brings up a point. Where do you get all your information for all of these meetings? I mean, we got some important. Now, there's a good section on the website right now with the meetings. But especially with the bond and what? I mean, I don't want to miss one of these meetings. Right. So, so I mean, and I've signed up and given my, my, my email. So. We didn't set any new meetings tonight, so we, we were up to date on everything. So we should be up to date on everything. Did you not say that a week from today at your Sutton's meeting is the second bond meeting? No, that was tonight. That's tonight. That was tonight. That was tonight. The first one was uh, Saturday. Did you? I didn't remember seeing that meeting posted as a bond meeting. I saw it posted as a budget meeting from the budget committee to the public. That's my interpretation of how it was presented. I didn't see anything about a bond meeting. No, but it didn't have to be in the newspaper. So it wasn't specifically a bond public hearing, though it met the criteria for the bond. The bond rules require that you have to have Saturday's meeting, the budget public hearing on all the warrants that include the warrant about that facility. So, so it addresses that. The, the notice didn't specifically say that that topic would be addressed, you're right, it could have been more explicit, but it's not really different from any other year, it wasn't when we did the fire truck or anything else, which is not an excuse, you're right, like we can always do better with getting information out. We've got to be careful, this is the biggest bond this town has ever thought of undertaking. So, you know, we've met the, the spirit of the, of the requirements. Okay. Tonight was the actual bond hearing itself. Um, it's a shame. Although, I mean, there are a lot of questions about the bond itself, but no, it's a shame. I mean, you look what was here. What would you say? 50? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I mean, is that a fair figure? 50 people are going to make a decision on, on a 2.5 or a 4 bond? That ain't right. I mean, I'm yeah, saying... I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> I think I mentioned that in the meeting. It would have been nice if more people could have come, but I get it. I mean, people are busy, so... Sadly, when they had the public meeting there with the budget committee, they brought up this uh, replacement of a dump truck. Yes. <clears throat> well, for what it's worth, I spoke against the fire truck because you spent 540 grand on a fire truck, and I gave the fire chief a quote to overhaul that transmission that had a problem that we never could be told what it was for 2,400 some more dollars with a two-year warranty. So here again, now we're saying it's got brake problems with the stump truck. And it's carrying more weight than what it should. Right. If it's carrying more weight than what it should, that's our fault. Yeah. Our fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the truck doesn't need to be replaced for an error that we do. But if the brakes are not working correctly, then why don't we fix it? Well, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than 156 grand. Right. So I think that the, um, the best answer I can give you is that we, we went to, um, we had it evaluated over at mixed trucking. Uh, and at the city of Dover, um, uh, Mick gave us an estimate of was it approximately twenty thousand in retail value, resale value, George, that we, uh, as I recall. So we're hoping that we can get twenty thousand for it now to offset the, uh, the cost of the. Of the oh, he, oh, what did he give you for a price to grab it? The brakes. It's not a problem with the brakes for the truck. What they did is they took a sixty-five hundred series truck. And made it the size of a big dump truck. They got a dump body on it the same size as that big international, mm -hmm. which is the truck is overbuilt for what the truck is. So apparently the truck was built to, to meet specifications so that someone with a non CDL could drive it. It wasn't built to the specifications of, of what was actually needed for this town. I for the size of our road. So we're hoping that we can we can some of our laws to move on to a new truck. I mean, the voters voted down, they voted down. That makes sense. 
snow dome. Put smaller body on it. So we're, 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 we're past, past that at the moment. Wait for my, my kudos, though. Where's my, where's my attaboy? But your no. attaboy is the fact that you are doing the recycling. <laughs> oh, oh. That's what I say. You get a ball I missed once. it. I'm sorry. It was <laughs> I missed it. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, you're not going to get two. I always try. But we, we appreciate your, your, your comments. I can just say, people get dropped off that um, email list that the town server on, mm -hmm. just out of the cool room, like I have. Have you been receiving anything recently from, from us in town? Me neither. You either? Like, it seems like every January people get dropped. So, so thank you for bringing that up. So you may want to resubmit I get, again? No, I get notification. For tonight? That, no, that my name was accepted on my email. Mm -hmm. Just thank oh, you for signing up. You know, and, 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 and I'm waiting to hear. Yeah. And Clearly the good news a couple of people were saying they didn't get the email either. So, so why, why aren't we maintaining the website? <laughs> that is a great question. No, I, I don't have the answer. But I'm asking. No, I'm going to tell you the answer. Because in, in the past, it was decided it wasn't a priority to do this. Um, a few past boards in the last several years have decided that it's a good way to communicate with people. That wasn't always valued. Um, and we're looking to make some changes. But I mean, it's... Every it's kind of like a water balloon. Every time we push one little spot, we think we're making progress somewhere. Something else bulges. Yep. And I'm really not trying to pass the buck, but there's only so many dollars to go around. Yeah, I understand. Only so many hours of the day to make things work. It's, it's still a priority, I think, for what was for me, and I know it was for Suzanne when she was still on the board, to try to get as much information out as possible. And it's going to cost money to have it maintained by the town. We don't pay the hosting fees, any of that, right? Okay. It's a volunteer is giving it all to us, so we're going to have to figure that out. It's pretty out. hard to complain about a volunteer. Well, it is, right, exactly. That's why I want to be careful, because we really do greatly appreciate all the work it does for us, but sometimes things fall off the plate and they don't always get out. See, the problem is there is no good way now to notify people. You put the notices in a paper, and look around. There aren't many people left. You get a newspaper. Right. I also, still do. Like the, the bond that we had, we had to put, by law, we had to put that in the newspaper. So Whether anyone saw it in the newspaper or not, I couldn't tell you, but um, it cost us $300 to do it. So. See, the other places you post it in the post office, yeah. I go there maybe twice a year. No, sorry. And the other place you tell them day, no one delivers my mail. So. And I, I avoid the town hall, because every time I go there, it costs me money. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the, out of the three places, you might be better off to post it down at the transfer station. We could start and, and, and I'm only... I'm, that may be a smart-ass answer, and it's not meant to be, but there's a lot of people that go there. Right. We've talked about a community bulletin board at the transfer station in the past, too, so it makes sense what you're saying. So. Anyone else? You're all here. And just to piggyback on that, if, if um, the article goes through for the police, for their message board, that is something that can be displayed in wherever, and they can display meetings when that meetings are coming. That is true. I think Bob mentioned that too. It can be used for reporting stuff around town if we needed it. So we also have the sandwich board thing. You'll want you to hear what I had to say. I try. And it's not secondhand information that you get. Hey, hey George, what's the uh, what's the carrying capacity of that truck currently? That truck's under uh, twenty-six. Okay. You put a full load of salt in that sand on that truck, you're well over the That's the problem. And, and you're, so I'm just trying to get some justification from this. It was on Saturday, I think it was on the warrant seven, was it, I think, for the truck? I can't recall exactly which one, but 165000 for a new one? Right. And you're going with a smaller chassis? A chassis that's built to haul the load, and the truck built, designed to build but still 26,000. Under 26, but it's designed for that. But if you have a truck currently that's designed to mold 26,000. We won't be filling that. What the problem is, when we load the hopper, which is in the truck, that brings the weight up. The other truck won't have the same hopper and it's going to be built into the body. Oh, mistake. No, it isn't. Everyone knows. Okay, so we're not going to argue about, we can argue about that after the meeting, but the, so. Well, no, no, I mean, it's a justification for $165,000. I mean, when there's a 
$2.4 million bond that's being considered going through, and then even, I mean, the police side. You know, every cent is. I don't disagree with you. There's a, yeah. So I mean. And what should we? Eric Ross. Sorry, I thought you got it. Any other community comments? No, we're going to call the end of this meeting. Thank you all for coming. Oh, 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 I'm not. I'm sorry, I misspoke. We're not going to do the meeting. We're going into non public session to do a welfare. And then we're. You all can't be here for that. I didn't want to take everyone out and have to come back.